Hi, and welcome back to A Girl, Her Dog, and RV. Today's video is gonna be about bathrooms. I do have a full bathroom, including a shower and toilet and sink in my RV, but you know there's also bathrooms at campgrounds and truck stops, laundromats, even hair styling salons, at the gym, and even friends' homes that I use. Here is a great picture to prove my point, and let me tell you a little story about my special bathtub time. So stay tuned. Well, I don't care to drive at night, whether I'm in the RV or the car. On this particular night, I had a pretty stressful drive earlier because I was driving around these country windy roads and I was driving into the evening, which made it very difficult for me to see and I just was very uncomfortable. By the time I got to my girlfriend's house, she was spoiling me this evening. Look, she had a bath bomb going in the tub. She had candlelight, a drink, even made me a dinner. Oh, I am so spoiled, especially for an RVer that doesn't own a bathtub. So to finish out this video, people ask me all the time about my bathroom. I do have a full bathroom with a nice shower, a toilet, and a sink. However, there are other options for people that maybe don't like their bathroom or don't even have one. Campgrounds. So the first video I'm going to show you is going to be the details of me taking a shower at a campground. But don't forget, there's truck stops, laundromats, hair salons, gyms, and of course, other friends' homes. This is located in New Mexico. I love the paint drawers. One suggestion I might make is they have three stalls here. Go into each one if they're available and open and check the uh, shower head. I did and I found that this one had a little bit more pressure than the other one. Uh, I always carry my flip-flops or my shower shoes, summer, winter, no matter where I'm at. I also, today I have a large bottle of um, body soap, but normally I just carry something I picked up at a hotel or if they're refillable. Uh, from my hiking days, I have all these different bottles. This one has oil for the winter months, and uh, I also carry the other medicated shampoo for extra dryness, and then of course some lotion. This is a facial wash, conditioner, and shampoo. As you can see, I was out. That's why I brought those. And that cheap razor, which I'll be throwing away. And thanks to my vodka-loving friends, I have chapstick wherever I go. I have two different towels. This one is like a hand towel, and this one is my shower towel. Uh, it's quite large, but as you can see, it's very, very thin. It's made by Norwax, and absolutely love it. You can see, definitely, it's winter time. I have all my winter gear here. One thing I would suggest is if you keep those bags from the grocery store that you bring your fruit and vegetables home in, when you leave the shower and your shoes are wet, you can put it in here so you can put everything back into your bag. One thing I forgot to mention is that I'm in New Mexico in the winter time and it is Wind chill, negative two. Thank goodness the bathrooms are heated. And it's fairly clean, toilet paper, trash cans. Uh, it says it's 52 in here, but definitely feels warmer than, than that. This next picture is of a bathroom in a campground in Carpinteria, right on the water, and it cost about 75 cents per minute. This bathroom is located in a city park in Elk City, Oklahoma. Um, the showers were free, even the hookups were free. This next bathroom is located just off the strip in Las Vegas. As you can see, it's newly remodeled. It was absolutely gorgeous and uh, well kept. This bathroom area located in Pahrump, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas on our way to Death Valley, is um, a gorgeous campground. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, even the people were friendly. It had a great pool and other outdoor facilities. But as you can see, the bathrooms were very nice and well-kept as well. Uh, this is a 
Passport America. So I only paid $20 a night at this beautiful place in Pahrump, Nevada. Well, this bathroom is in a state park and you can see it's probably not as well kept as the others. There is only the shower in here and a sink and it does cost, I can't remember the exact price, but maybe 75 cents a minute as well. Uh, I did not use these showers, but uh, yeah, they're right on the beach. So I guess they're not too bad for a state park. These next couple of pictures were taken in Quartzsite, Arizona. Now, if any of you are familiar with this, there's different places that offer showers. So that receipt was showing that I paid $8 at this laundromat where I could take a very nice shower, very well kept and clean. I also did my laundry here and you could bring the dog if you wanted to. They had dog pens outside. And here is the next place I <laughs> took a shower. This is very mom and pop like, but it was clean and they provided a towel and I was perfectly happy with my $5 shower. What a bargain. This shower house is located in the city of Rocks, New Mexico. This, I believe, was another state park and very well kept, very nice. They had people um, there 24 seven at the office and as well as cleaning. And you can see this was the uh, handicapped bathroom. I just wanted to have a little more space to spread out and everything was very well kept. So this is at a truck stop. Well, actually it's not really a truck stop, but uh, it's very similar to one that I have showered at at a truck stop so I just wanted to give you an idea of how small they are uh, compared to some of the state parks and uh, private parks but again it was very clean. I know people that have gym memberships just to be able to use the shower and that's what I did here. This is a local gym in Stillwater, Oklahoma. You can pay five dollars to go work out and of course use the shower so very nice and clean. I just stuck in some random picture of my friend's bathroom that I stay at. I could not tell. And last but not least, I'd like to introduce a friend a of mine and she's going to show here. you how she uses the bathroom and showers. A flappy thing to pull it out. Makes a nice uh, hard shell on top. Will hold up to 250 pounds. That was going to be my question. How many pounds does it hold? Yep. And then you can flip it over during the day for a little stool to raise your feet. And what I absolutely adore is this is an out of sight, out of mind situation. Yes. When you are done, you are done, right? <laughs> no matter where you're at, you're out of the bathroom. Okay. So then we just close it up. You can put a little bungee around it to keep it together two inches and I slide it in uh, near my uh, gym bag and if I need it at nighttime I can put it on my seat otherwise when I'm camping out on the BLM land this is my dressing pop-up shower and this literally folds into a 22 inch circumference and like I'm inch high and I slide it in my trunk And even with 30 miles per hour winds, this has been holding up. It has little stakes, but I put rocks around it. And then, yeah, and then there's a little pouch in there where you can hold your uh, toilet tissue or what have you. And tell me why this blanket is on here. Well, the blanket is for, um, uh, for privacy. Thanks for coming along this potty talk video with me. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to share it with others. And another way you could support me is by hitting that subscribe button. So please do that. I appreciate it. In the meantime, love, Lainey.